Check out dealhunter.tech for the best tech deals updated daily by yours truly. I make sure each product has good reviews and I check the price history to make sure it really is a good deal. Link down below. Welcome back everybody. If you've been paying attention to the tech world for a long time, you will already be at least a little bit familiar with this product. This is a laser projection keyboard. Now there were pictures and like concepts of this type of product for a very long time. I think originally when it came out, it was somewhere closer to $100. Now it's only $35. Um, so we're gonna check it out and see what it's all about, see how functional it is. And my friend Random Frank P also did a video on this, so I will link it, uh, link that video to you guys in the description below. He tested it out while gaming as well, which was definitely an interesting video. And I picked mine up off of Banggood.com. It's also available on Amazon, and I'll leave both those links in the description below. And as well, if this video gets a thousand likes, I will be giving one away. So drop a like on this video and leave a comment if you are interested in winning one. I'll announce the winner on my Twitter. And without any further ado, let's get into unboxing this product and this keyboard and seeing what this laser projection is all about. All right, so let's unbox it. It's a pretty plain box, just uh, with the picture of the keyboard on the front. I'm not gonna really go over the box. It is kind of like the iPhone type of box where it just fits in perfectly and you have to shake it to get it the top of the box off. So there it is. Uh, that's the module that spits out the laser and also reads where your fingers are with, um, I think it's IR, to see which key you're pressing. So we'll take that out. Um, also in there you get a user manual and it does pair through Bluetooth. So if you're pairing to your computer, laptop, phone, any of that kind of stuff, you do it through Bluetooth and uh, we'll throw that away. And then the only other thing in the box is a cable for charging, a very short six inch cable for charging, just micro USB. Uh, it's good to see that using a standard format. So taking the projector out itself, it is actually some nice foam, which is surprising to see. And it does come with some plastic wrap uh, around the front of it. It says avoid exposure, laser radiation is emitted from this aperture. Yeah, laser radiation probably isn't the best thing to be exposed to. Taking that off, um, it looks pretty simple. It's kind of big, but it is really light. It does not have much heft to it. Uh, it's definitely not metal. It, although it looks metal, it's plastic painted. Let's go ahead and turn it on. Power button on the right side. That was a loud beep. All right, so it's all set up right here and pointing out. It's not connected to anything yet. And I turned one light off so you can see it a little bit better on the camera you're looking through right now. And after typing around with it, it does seem uh, like pretty responsive. However, when I do type quickly, it seems like every once in a while it's skipping a key. And uh, you'll, you'll see this thing down here, it dims it because that turns it into mouse mode. So it turns into a mouse pad. And um, so yeah, there is an audible noise. I'm gonna see if I can turn that off before the next clip in this video. And I thought the best way to really test out this product would be to plug it into the computer and do a real typing test with typing speed. I'm pretty good with touchscreen displays or touchscreen type keyboards because uh, I used to take a lot of notes on my iPad in class so I got really used to just the type of touchscreen feel when typing on a keyboard. So I'm going to be interested to see just how responsive this is and uh, how well it performs in a real keyboard scenario. So let's take it over to the main desk and try it out. Okay, so I'll be testing three different keyboards, this Apple keyboard, which I'm fastest with, as well as a typewriter style keyboard, uh, which I will be covering soon, and then the laser projection keyboard, uh, just to get a general idea of how well each one performs, and I will be doing different typing tests with type racer, so the words will be different, but it will give you a general idea of how the keyboards perform. And for the two non-laser projection keyboard, I will be speeding it up while I'm typing just for the sake of time and then to see how fast I go. And then with the laser keyboard, I will do it live. So without any further ado, let's open a typing race. All right, so 96 words per minute is about correct with my speed. Um, if I'm like practice and warmed up, I can get around a little bit above 100, but that's okay for testing scenarios. 96 for the best case scenario with this keyboard. Let's move on to the typewriter. All right, so now with the typewriter keyboard, this is a mechanical typewriter keyboard and it's wireless and I'll be covering it soon. It's a really cool keyboard. And this is just to give another perspective. This isn't the easiest thing to type on. So I'm actually interested to see if I'll be able to type faster on this or the laser keyboard. So once again, let's enter a typing race. All right, so this time I actually got 100 words per minute. Uh, that is kind of because I'm really used to this keyboard right now. If I use this keyboard or the Apple keyboard, I would generally be faster on the Apple keyboard. Uh, these are using Cherry MX Blues. If I pull a keycap off, it's just a really cool keyboard design. So 100 words per minute for the typewriter. And let's see how fast I can type 
with the laser projection keyboard and see if it's actually a viable alternative. And I mean, if it could even, if I could even go like 70 words per minute with it, that would be impressive and kind of good enough to use on the go with an iPad or something like that to take notes. All right, so we are connected now. Um, it was really easy to pair. It just showed up in the Bluetooth settings uh, on my Windows computer because I have a Bluetooth adapter. And uh, I just real quick tested how fast I could type in the search bar. And it does seem like if you type too fast, it can't register the individual key presses. So you have to be kind of exact with your typing. And if you're exact, you can still kind of get it done. Whoa, doing all sorts of things. Um, so I guess I'm on mouse mode right now. So you do have to be careful. I'm gonna get this reset. Testing out mouse mode, you click this. It does, the mouse mode works. I mean, it's not very responsive. It's a little delayed, but it does work, which is pretty cool. And then you can just tap and click on something. So pretty cool. I mean, not the most practical thing in the world. Definitely pretty cool. So let's enter a typing race. All right, turn it on to keyboard mode. I have the volume on the lowest setting, but you can still hear it, just so you can see, so you can hear every time it registers a key press. And I am gonna have to look down during this, okay? Oh, caps lock is on. Oh no. <laughs> this is not easy. Okay, this is much more, okay, much more difficult than I thought it would be. <laughs> you can get away with it a little bit better by uh, using just two fingers. That is just not the key that should be there. Where is comma? Oh, it's all the way up here. Oh, no. No. <laughs> Shift in that. This is doing all sorts of things. Shift in that. FN. Getting left behind here. Not a comma. Oh no, I don't know what to do. I can't get a comma in there. Well, we're at four words per minute right now. Let's uh, let's try this again with a new one. I think one of the biggest problems, other than not being able to like click multiple keys at once or too quickly in succession, is that because you can't feel the keys, I have to both look up to see what words I'm supposed to type and then look down to see the keyboard at what I'm typing. So it is, it's a nice, it's an interesting balance. Um, there aren't any commas too early here, so I might fare okay. Although there is an apostrophe. Oh, this is gonna be rough. So shift I, that doesn't actually work, interestingly. Shift Oh, you press shift and then shift is engaged and then you type your letter. No, oh, no, shift turns caps lock on now. No. <laughs> oh God, where's apostrophe this? Nope. Yeah, there we go. We've more than doubled our words per minute with the laser one this round though, so that's progress. This is much more difficult than I anticipated. What? Oh, I turned it on to mouse mode. Oh, I'm lost now. Turn mouse mode on. Get down to the box. Come on. <laughs> no. There was a lot. Okay. Well, we've doubled our words per minute. We're at 10 now. Improvement, that is key. And um, overall, this is not practical in any way. It's very difficult to know what you're pressing, especially when you're reading off what you're gonna type. I guess if I was, knew what I was gonna type, like, I knew what I was going, mouse mode, to type. Okay, so not easy to type on, not very practical. Definitely cool, like a cool gadget to show your friends or something and fun to use. Not practical whatsoever. Still though, you can win one if this gets to a thousand likes, I will give one away. Um, you know, I, I was had a little bit more expectations for it coming out of the box, but still a cool product, just not practical, and I would never use it in a real scenario. So yeah, that's it for this video. Definitely a cool product, not the most practical thing in the world, 
but it's a cool like proof of concept and definitely fun to try out and show to your friends and whatnot. Remember, if this video reaches a thousand likes, I will be giving one away on Twitter, so just drop a comment and drop a like if you want to see that happen, and I'll link Random Frank P's videos down below. He is the one, uh, when I saw that video, I was like, I should definitely get my hands on that, so I'm not copying or anything, well, a little bit. Um, I just wanted to check it out, so I want to give credit where credit's due. Thank you for watching, subscribe to see more content, and as always, stay classy.